Tell me what you're making. Stracciatella. It's a creamy type of mozzarella. So what we do is we boil some water, and once it gets up to a boil, we just turn it off. And we want that to just kind of chill out and come down to about 180. So I take my curd and break it into little, little pieces and put it in a big bowl. Right now, you want to have your curd out at room temp. So this is just regular cheese curd? Yeah, you know, you always want to go with the best quality possible. Well, you that's want what to we have at the ranch, this of course. This is the best, the best. This is beautiful here. Bought it down at the gas station down the road. <laughs> this is actually really gorgeous curd, and then okay. we actually do 17 grams of salt per pound. And it seems a, like a lot, but what's gonna happen is we're gonna mix the stracciatella with heavy cream. Got it. And the heavy cream's gonna coat your mouth, and you're gonna really want the salt How to come does through. How does serve stracciatella? We just smear it on some bread. We're gonna rub some garlic, some tomato. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. We're cooking food that is as simple, to the point, and delicious. We slowly start to add the hot water into the curd. You'll see all the pieces of curd that we broke apart with our fingers start to almost homogenize into one big ball of mozzarella. And from that time, you're gonna start stretching and stretching and stretching until the mozzarella starts to what we call plastic. Not the sexiest term, but it means that it's all one form. How's the cheese? Cheese is coming out good. Almost done? Yeah, again, we want that plastic. Now it's time to roll the balls. So we take that whey water, what's that? That's the water that was melting our curd, and I put it into a hotel pan, and we're gonna drop the temperature again. You want that whey water to be around 80 degrees. Once that's good to go, we can start making our mozzarella. And it's just like making a ball of pizza dough, same idea, you pick it up, you're folding it in, folding it in, until it's nice and smooth, and then I put it in the whey water, and we just let it hang out. Here we are, so what we do now, essentially, is we take these and we wanna pull it almost like string cheese. Uh huh. And we're gonna pull it, and then right. we're gonna put it back in a bowl, and we're gonna add the cream to this, and then that's when you're really gonna start to see stracciatella come together, my friend. So once that warm cream has become best friends with those streaks of beautiful mozzarella, it all starts to come together. I'm gonna serve this with some rustic bread that we're gonna saturate with really good olive oil, salt and pepper. We'll roast it in the wood oven for a bit, let it get nice and warm and toasty. We're gonna take a raw clove of garlic and rub it on the bread. And once that's done, we're even gonna take a half of a beautiful, ripe, juicy tomato, and we're gonna rub that onto the bread. We're gonna put some of that stracciatella right on top of it. We're gonna finish it with some really good first press extra virgin olive oil, a little flaky salt, black pepper, and we're rolling, baby. Delicious. Thank you. Good job, guys. Nice job. Thank you, guys. Nice job. Thank, you nice. thank you. Christian Petroni, that was a great, great dish. I mean, the stracciatella. Ma chi lo sa, è così buono.